Well, hello there guys, how you doing? Welcome to Outrageously Sharon. This video is powered by Jonathan O'Kello Photography. Y'all can see, y'all can see how I'm shining, how I look good, how I look like. Yes, 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 Jonathan O'Kello Photography Studio is here for you. No need to shoot content in whack backgrounds anymore, okay? You can get them at View Pack Towers on 10th floor. So, let's jump right into today's video. So, thank you guys for those guys who've been supporting me and for those who are returning subscribers. Mm, come here, come here, let me show you some love. Come, 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 let me show you some love. Mm, mwah, yes, thank you. And if you're new here, Karibu Sana, and please do subscribe. So, I had a Q&A session with you guys on Instagram and I promise I'm going to be answering those questions live. So here I am and let me see, some of you, I should be drinking something strong for some of the questions y'all gave me, okay? So without further ado, let me jump right into this. Come on in. Well, 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 uh, Instagram changed a lot of things, but thank God I'm here now. I'm here now. So the first question. Someone asked me, I'll post two parts of this question. As an SDA, like you were since birth, yes I am. <laughs> How do you deal with being get, uh, being judged? And um, hmm, let me just read that whole question. How, let me answer that first. Listen, honestly, I don't care about what people think about me. The only opinion I really care about is my husband's and my son's opinion. Anybody else? Thank you. Not today. I don't really care about your opinion. My my mantra is, if you're not feeding me, if you're not financing me, and the other F, I all know. Listen, I owe you no explanation as to how I live my life. Okay. So I hope I answered that question. Um, the second part is because uh, uh, a continuation. Uh, this person likes wearing. Uh, they like parting wearing short dresses, makeup, blonde, and I get judged a lot. Honey, live your life. They're still gonna talk. So listen, guys, just live your life. Some of these people will talk whether you're doing good things or bad things. So I don't really care. The second question, are you planning on having a second baby? <laughs> well, let's just say I have warmed up to this idea. Um, I was all about having one baby because honestly, pregnancy did a number on me. But uh, yes, I'm moving up to the idea and yes, baby number two might be popping in very soon. Uh, the third questions have, uh, the third question, questions, just give me English, you can use as Third question, <laughs> have you been a stewardess before? No, I have not, but I've there's a time I really wanted to do it. Uh, I guess it just caught up and opportunities just went by. But yes, I would have loved to do one. Oh, this one. This is a question I was saying I should have taken a strong drink for. Okay. What happened to your girl squad with Akina Faith from Qatar? <laughs> I have checked that account. You only have two posts and we don't have any common friends. Is that a pseudo account? Okay, fine. Well, I said I'll answer all your questions, so I guess I owe you an answer, right? So, um, listen, life happens, guys. I mean, like any normal friendship, what you go sana, you either, like people just have different paths. So, it's nothing really, but I just, I think we just grew out of each other or, listen, our paths don't just cross anymore. There's no, there's no need of missing ones here, yeah. But yo, I, I don't have, I don't have any issues, any issues, yeah. Next question, please. Um, your hubby, your hubby, uh, does he have insecurities with you being all lively and social? Jumain has. Oh, you call it. Listen, uh, when I was cutting this out, my husband had reservations. Yo, I'm being honest and being very, like open with you guys he had reservations to it and he still does up until now but i think as long as i don't go overboard which i must say i really hold myself 
<laughs> and I try not to. Uh, but he's very supportive right now. Extremely like supportive. Most of my posts before I put them out, I will actually show him like this is what I was thinking and I'm asking for his idea. So he's very supportive. Thank you, baby. Mwah, I love you. Um, the next question, Salimia Bonayako Priest. Babe, could not talk Salimia Okwe? Pokea? I hope we're Pokea. Uh huh. Now, this question, my Jesus, Jesus, what? Would you forgive a cheating partner? <laughs> well, 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 that's a tricky question. But I feel um, I feel there are worse things than being. I, I mean, cheating is brutal. There's emotional, there's uh, physical cheating. Listen, I don't advocate for cheating. Listen, I don't. Know. But <sighs> that's a tricky question, guys. Um, someone once told me when uh, before I got married, yes, they they said always. And never ever assume your husband will never cheat on you. Your babe, I'm not, listen, I'm not talking about my husband. Yeah, guys, get this right. I'm not talking about my man. Uh, but I think there are far worse, far worse of things than cheating. And I mean, no human is perfect, but I'm not advocating for this as well. Just listen. I'd forgive if they were remorseful about it, genuinely remorseful about it. Um, what is the right right age to move out from home? Wow, that's a tricky question. Uh, I moved out from home at 19, basically because I thought the house was too small for me and my mom, because we were at each other's necks every now and then. <laughs> but I would say if you have a job, like start out small. We, I thought I was living in a bed sitter, guys. Like. And I was just, I just wanted my space. That's the most important thing I wanted. So you can move out at 19. If you can pay rent, then you can move out. So 19, 20, if you have something in Logo, you can move out. So 19, 20, 21, 22, 25, 28, 30. I'm not past 30. <laughs> I'm joking. When the guys who live at home past 30, they have their own reasons. I'm not here for that discussion today. Um, follow back. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna follow you back. I'll follow you back, honey. And the last question: How did you and hubby meet, and how long did you guys date before marriage? I have known my husband for over ten years. Yes, we were friends before, and um, we started dating. I think after knowing each other for seven years. No, not seven. We've been married for three. I think we started dating five years later or six years later after I knew him. And we dated for I think one and a half years or two years. No, it didn't get to two years. I'll just tell you guys, I'll tell you this, this. A man knows if he wants to marry you in the first three or six months. If anyone is doing anything past that with you, I call it extreme sports, okay? And don't fall for it, honey. Like, and I'm serious about this. Men are very intentional, you know? Like, a man is the only one who knows what he wants with you and what, how he wants. Like, he knows where he wants to go with you. So if he wants to play games around with you, he knows that. If he wants to do other things with you, he knows that. If he wants to marry you, sis, he's gonna marry you, okay? So... <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Let me tell you, you you did for six years and then now, <laughs> and then what now? <laughs> I believe men know what they want, and it doesn't take a lot of time for them to figure that out. So, for me, it was, and we, and we, we we actually spoke about it, and I remember I told him I'm here for marriage, I'm here for the long haul, and he felt equally the same way, and I think. Not, I think we were in agreement on that issue, so it made this a lot, lot easier. So, if you're dating guys, just ask the guy what his intentions are. If he wants to waste your time, like you get to know this from the one start, yeah. So, avoid unnecessary uh, long periods of relationship, toxic relationships, anyway. Please, guys, I love, love watching you guys catching up on my episodes. So, y'all show me, uh, you can do a video on IG 
and share me when you're catching up on this episodes please leave your comments down below and if you got any more questions for me please throw them in until next time let me love you and leave you Mwah!